string students, I hope you're having a great week. Today we're going to learn two new songs. We're going to learn Farah Jaka, otherwise known as Are You Sleeping? We're also going to learn Ruben and Rachel. But before we do that, we're going to start with our Rhythm Jam. This is Rhythm Jam Session 2. Oh, and look, it looks like our little guy is all ready to go and watch us do our Rhythm Jam. So let's go! I'm going to play a four beat rhythm pattern. Echo after me! We are now going to learn Farajaka, otherwise known as Are You Sleeping? I will play it one time so you can hear how it sounds. Remember, all of the music that Mrs. Carper and I are teaching you can be found online so that you can learn these with us. So please feel free to print those out or follow along online. Also, if you look at the screen, you're going to see that Farajaka has eight measures. If you forget what a measure is, those are those little, little tiny measure numbers that you see on the music. They happen every four beats in Farajaka. And I actually made a big printout of the one that you would find online so that you can see those little measure numbers. Here's measure one, measure two, measure three, measure four, and so on. So I highly recommend getting that out so that you can follow along pretty easily. Farajaka actually starts out on the D string. Your first four notes are quarter notes. They are D, E, F sharp, D, O, 1, 2, O. <laughs> Measure number two is exactly the same thing again. If you look at measure three and measure four, they are also exactly the same. You have F sharp G and open A, two fingers for F sharp, three fingers for G, and then you switch to A. Remember the A is a half note, it gets two beats. on the A string. This is measure five. I'm going to play one note at a time since this measure can be a little bit tricky. This is A, no fingers. B is one finger on the A string. A again, no fingers. Then you're going to cross over to the D string and put three fingers down for G. And then F sharp is two fingers. And D is none. Remember, the first three notes are on the A string, A, B, A. The rest are on the D string, G, F sharp, and D. If I play the measure, it sounds like the Mississippi hot dog rhythm. If you look at your music, measure 5 and 6 are exactly the same. So you basically just play measure 5 twice. Measure 7 and 8 are 
exactly the same. We have D-A-D. The A is actually on the G string. For some of you that may be a new note, G1 means G string one finger. So here's our new note. You put your bow on the G string and put one finger down. Now that you know that note, we're going to play both measures together. This is D-A-D with our new note. two beats. That's a half note. Here's the entire piece. Again, I'll play it for you first so that you can hear how it sounds. actually starts on the D string, no fingers with four quarter note Ds. <laughs> For measure two, you're going to play another D. Then you're going to roll your bow to the A string and put one finger down, that's a B. Then you're going to lift your first finger and play open A. Then you're going to roll your bow to the D string and put two fingers down, that's F sharp. That measure sounds like this. It's a little bit tricky, but don't worry. If you practice it a little bit, you'll get it. And some of the other patterns and the other measures are very similar, so that should help you out a little bit. I'll do it one more time. For measure three, we have four quarter note Ds again. For measure four, we have a measure very similar to measure two, D, B, and A. And then one finger on the A string. Lift your first finger, that's A. Then you're going to do a bow lift and start with a new bow on that rest. I'll do it one more time. And then lift. I'm going to play the first line now so you can hear it. second line. After you do your bow lift, you should still be on the A string. We're going to put three fingers on the A string. That's D and you have two of them. Then you're going to lift your third finger and play C sharp. Then you're going to lift all your fingers to play A. Those four notes are on the A string. For measure six, you're still going to stay on the A string for your first two notes. That's a B, one finger. There's two of them. Lift your finger and play A. Now go to the D string and put two fingers down for F sharp. Remember we said there's another measure that sounds similar? Well, it's very similar to measure two. I'll do it again. B, B, A, and F sharp. That's another measure you might have to practice a little bit. Then for measure seven, we have D, E, F sharp, D, O, 1, 2, O, all on the D string. Sounds like already sleeping. Then for our very last measure, measure 8, 
You're gonna go to the A string and put one finger down, that's B. Two fingers is C sharp. Three fingers is D. The last note is two beats, it's a half note. I'll do that measure again. Here is our second line. song now. Special thanks to Vidisi of Vidisi.com for their free video background to make this educational video possible.